Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released a new Defender update for the Windows 10 and 11 ISO installation images. And as I've been posting, this is something now that Microsoft is doing almost on a monthly basis, which I think is a nice move. Because the update package is necessary as a Windows installation image, as you may well know, can contain old and outdated anti-malware definitions. And these packages also provide performance improvements uh, in certain cases. Now, just a quick recap. When a new Windows installation is set up, there may be a temporary security risk due to outdated Microsoft Defender protection in the actual ISO installation image. And this happens because the anti-malware software included in these images might not be up to date. And Microsoft says that these updated definitions will help close the so-called protection gap, as we have spoken about previously on the channel, which I do think is a nice move. Now, if we head over to the release notes for the latest Windows operating system installation images, yeah, we can see that's for Windows 11 across the board, Windows 10, Windows Server 2022, 2019, and 2016. And if we have a look at the latest security intelligence version, it's 1.431.452.0. And if I head over to my Windows Security, Microsoft Defender, latest security intelligence update that was downloaded this morning on my device, that's on 1.433. This is on 1.431. So although not up to date with the most current security intelligence version, 1.433, I still think that having it at 1.431 is still a move in the right direction because at least it's not a month old and it does close that protection gap to some degree or the other. And here we have the package information for ARM, that's 78.2 megabytes. For 32-bit, that's 128. And for 64-bit, that's 132 megabytes in size. And yeah, you can download the relevant Windows operating system installation images for those different platforms and I'll leave this page linked in the description for easy access and reference. So I do think this is a step in the right direction, just closing that protection gap for those new Windows installations. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.